All right, welcome back. And you know, with the Ethereum proof of stake merge pending, looming over all of us miners, you're hearing more and more about ETC, Ethereum Classic. This may be the go-to coin that people switch to once Ethereum has gone to proof of stake. But if you're going to go there, everyone else is going to go there. And everyone else seems to be having these uh, ASIC miners, which are dedicated hardware to mine the specific algorithm like ETC. So here we have this guy. I was here now lately a lot about Jazz Miner, Bitminer, all these ASICs. And I um, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm, not, I'm pretty ignorant on them, but I'm going to start reading these articles, talking about them, and see what makes sense. So here we have the uh, Use a Jazz Miner X4. Mining ETC, which is more efficient and quiet. So they're pushing and pushing these uh, ASICs. Uh, this is in lieu of buying uh, GPUs, which are going to go to zero profitability almost once Ethereum goes to proof of stake. I don't know. If you're looking to buy a GPU now for mining, I want to do it. I would not do it. You're not going to ROI. That investment, even with the dropping GPU prices, it's a risky thing. Unless you want to do it for fun, knock yourself out or play video games, go ahead. But even prices are going to hit MSRP and below. It, I don't know. What are you going to do with those GPUs? What are you going to mine? If you currently have GPUs, I don't know. I would just hold them maybe and maybe a coin will pop up that you can start doing proof of work mining on. But right now to go buy GPUs, it's uh, you're kind of throwing money away. I would just buy the coin directly. Buy Ethereum. Then when it goes proof of stake, you can then uh, stake and get uh, dividends, interest, whatever rewards on it. And that may be the smart move other than buying GPUs. Again, guys, entertainment, not financial advice. This is a stupid YouTube channel with an idiot talking about crypto as I try to figure it out on a day-to-day -day biz uh, uh, basis. Yeah. So if you're listening to people on YouTube and taking advice seriously without doing your own due diligence, buyer beware. This is for entertainment. But again, to buy GPUs, I'm just saying for me, not a smart move to put out 500 bucks and not be able to ROI that card when Ethereum profitability, the mining profitability is down. Uh, yeah. And once uh, POS starts, everyone's going to shift and spread that hash rate across a lot of coins, but they have ASICs. So you're going to have all these ASICs you're competing with as well. So like the Jazzmire. So let's just go through this real quick. What is it? Ethereum Classic is the original chain of Ethereum. Uh, it's an open source, public, distributed platform based on blockchain technology. All right, good enough. Oh, let's see about this jazz mine. I don't care about the rest. You just get the history here. Uh, some people believe that ETC is an orthodox, pure-blooded main chain, while ETH is a forked currency or side chain. Yeah. Let's see what the continuous advancement of Ethereum 2.0 miners will gradually transfer hash rate in the future. When proof of work is upgraded to proof of stake, miners will not be able to continue mining in Ethereum 2.0. And most of the mining rigs cannot disappear. So they can only transfer their rigs to mine ETC or other coins, not just ETC. Other profitable coins may pop up. You just don't know. You Nobody knows. As we know, miners are all indispensable existence in the encryption industry. All right. The voice of miners is very important especially the relatively high degree of decentralization of Bitcoin. Because of the existence of VGOT and Ethereum, miners have the second right to speak, but miners cannot be so obedient and have to find other ways out. Yeah, okay, miners do prop up a coin. That's why I think Ethereum may kind of hurt after they go proof of stake because the miner support is going to be zero. They're, all right, we're done with you. We're done touting the uh, profitability of Ethereum. Bye-bye. And a coin may go to zero. I don't know. I'm just saying. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, let's see. The best place to transfer hash rate to replace Ethereum is Ethereum Classic. Everyone's pushing Ethereum Classic. But again, is everyone going to run their one coin? If everyone runs the one coin, it's not going to be profitable. Yeah. So it's a tough one. Nobody knows what's going to happen. It's almost like you got to let the dust settle after the proof of stake merge happens. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Um, this also makes the miner an invisible rich man. They made his income more stable and skyrocketed by down-to-earth mining. So it is still 
easy for miners to drive the price of ETC. And with the production cut, we all know that Bitcoin is halved every four years, and each time it will drive the entire bull market. So as we're seeing over time now, as Bitcoin matures, it appears there's a consistent bull market every four years. The next one should be, what, 2024, the halvening. Litecoin's going to have next year, whatever that means. It will help Litecoin. I hope so. But uh, yeah, it seems to be four years is when the bull markets are. It's going to get bigger and bigger. So it's kind of funny that you can actually predict the bull market now. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. No one knows. It could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways. It could go backwards. That's what all these crypto channels say. And I don't know why people watch them. They say the same crap every day. And uh, it's just it's just uh, drama. It's like watching a soap opera. It's crypto soap opera, like watching wrestling. You know, it's just entertainment for the masses. All right, what's going on? So now, let's see. They are talking the Jazz Miner X4. It's a high throughput. Quiet. That's key, quiet. These damn ASICs are loud and they suck power. The newer ones are getting more quiet and using less watts and becoming more efficient and they mine a specific algorithm. So having dealt with the GPUs, the noise, the power, and the heat, the uh, ASICs are looking attractive, but there's a couple of cons. I don't like having to buy it from overseas and they want crypto payment. I want my buyer protection with my credit card. And then some people get these things all banged up or they get them that they were actually refurbished and they're not new. And what do you do? You ship it back to Hong Kong and try to get your money back? No, you ain't got your crypto. You're done. So it's a big concern for the miner, for the buyer to buy one of these ASICs. I know a lot of YouTubers are probably getting them free uh, as promotional things just to drive sales to these overseas vendors. And that makes me nervous. And I know everyone's trying to make a buck. Everyone's trying to, trying to um, do the grift, uh, work hard. You know, and you're trying to make a couple of dollars. I get it. But again, you got to be, you got to do your due diligence. Use your cognitive reasoning skills. Do you really want to buy something overseas with crypto based on someone on YouTube? That's a risk, man. You're dropping 6K or more on, a, on an ASIC machine to mine a certain algorithm. I don't know. Seems highly risky. All right. Let's see. Oh, also on eBay, you can buy ASICs used in the States and are new that people did actually get them and um, are just reselling because they're, which is another question. If these, if these ASICs are so damn profitable and good, why are people buying them and reselling them or dumping them used on eBay? Something's not right. You got to say, wait a minute, what's going on here? Cause there's, they realize that they're not making money by mining. So let's just dump them and get my money back. Plus a couple bucks for reselling. Minus the huge eBay fee. eBay sucks. Uh, huge eBay fees. If you ever sell on eBay, you'll know what I mean. 14%. You lose everything. All your profit margin is gone. Yeah, eBay needs to fix that. But yeah, you got to wonder, why are people selling these things? But if you really want one, I'd get on eBay. And maybe you'll have some buyer protection. All right. Eight minutes into this awesome video, guys. So the hash rate of the Jazz Miner X4Q is, uh, what, 1040 mega hash. The power consumption is only 480 watts plus or minus 10%. That is not bad. That is not bad because you could run it off a strip. I don't know if it's 110 or 240 only, but that is a plus, especially when you got a 3080 Ti, which draws, uh, let's see, on Ethereum, about 280 watts and you're getting 94 mega hash. You got to do the comparison. The ASICs are more efficient, so that's a plus. And the noise level, too, you don't have to worry too much about the fans, uh, the exhaust fans. I don't know. It's going to be a lot quieter, which is nice. And they're probably smaller as you stack them. Who knows? You don't need risers, cables. You just plug the damn thing in. You're good to go. There's a lot of pros. There's a lot of cons. you got to do your own research. It's your money, and people want to take your money and put it in their wallet. So you got to be very, very uh, protective of that, very cautious, question everything. Uh, let's see, the noise level of quiet mining in the bedroom is less than 40 decibel, which is huge. I put a decibel meter on my grow tent inside, outside. It's about 70, 60, 70. So that's a huge thing to say these things are less than 40 decibels. That's a, that's a pro. All right, with this AC rig made for ETC, it is easy to optimize the energy consumption during the mining process and help the miners to achieve their best in their mining work. So yeah. 
just it's efficient and they're focused on one algorithm. So that's the pro. It's going to be the best performance on that algorithm. Oh, uh, let's see. There's a, a J, Jasmine X, uh, X4 high throughput mini server. Let's just go through it. Here's what they look like. These look like they're new. Here we go. Uh, let's see. They're made in China, jazzminer.com. I would look for a reseller in the States if you're in the States. Again, I just get nervous shipping stuff overseas and paying in crypto. That's a huge, that's two cons right there. And just customer service and how do you return it if something's wrong with it. If you get a bad board or something broke and shipping, they dropped it 50 times. What are you going to do? You're going to wait another three months to get it from Hong Kong? I don't know. And then China's always locking down. Who knows what the, what's going on with those people? Just locking everything down every day. Panic, panic, panic. It's crazy times. Crazy times, I tell you. All right, let's go look at this puppy. Let's zip on over, guys. Let's go to the Wayback Machine. All right, all right. So we're talking Jazz Miner X4. We got the old Jazz Miner right here. It, it is uh, released November 2021. So if you're looking at the ASICs, you definitely want a newer release because it's going to be more efficient, newer hardware, hopefully. Hopefully, it's not a refurbished model they're trying to sell as new. Again, I've seen it. You get these things. People get them. They take pictures of it. It's like... Dude, this was re this was used. There's dust in it and the fans. Uh, there's fingerprints on it. And they, they would just probably rebuild it or put a new board in it or something and sold it as new. And that's that's horrible. That's come on guys. People are greedy. And the people that seem to really making money lately are not the miners. It's the people that sell those supplies to the miners. Again, look back in the old gold rush days when people actually physically mine caves. Who made the money? The people selling the donkeys, the axes, the picks, the wagons, the lights, uh, the camp, running camps out. It's not the guys actually digging there looking for a gold vein. And that was only a small percentage of the guys actually ever found anything. So it's just the way it is. I mean, if you want to get into reselling crypto equipment, that might be a better move than buying into mining crypto at this point. You just don't know. All right. Uh, let's see. We got the X4. Came out 2021, November, the hash rate is 2.5 giga hash, 1,200 watts. This one just raised up. Am I looking at the right one? Come on, X4. Maybe there's the X4. Yeah, they're saying X4. Okay. The, these guys have different numbers. Oh, well, that's a problem. That is a problem. Well, here's another one, the x 41 one u This is it. This is ETH hash, ETH, uh, this is ETH hash, all right. Here's the X41U, 520 mega hashes versus the 2.5 giga hashes. 200, there we go. This is the one we want, guys. This is what they're talking about right here. November 2021, 520 mega hash, 240 watt usage. 65 decibels, not bad, and it's on ETHASH, making 1930 a day. 1930, baby. 1930. What's the cost of this guy? Let's check. Uh, let's see. There's a bunch here. So you got a bunch to pick from. They got, let's just look for Hold on a sec. Let's make this easier. Jazz Miner X4. So they uh, all seem to come out about November 2021. And these two are very close. They're all, they're all doing ETH, ETH hash. Yeah, these two look exactly the same. Let's go with this one. All right. So your profit is, this is what they're estimating. You got to put in your electricity costs. Just go high, 13, 15 cents. I know some people say less, but they don't count. The surcharges, the taxes. Oh, you get 10 cents electricity. You're the best. But did you really look at your bill? You're really paying 13 cents a kilowatt hour. They don't. Come on. Look at your bill. You'll find out all the taxes the, the man puts on you. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. They're saying about 20 bucks a day, 611 bucks a month, 7,300 a year. Model X41U from Jazzminer Mining ETH hash algorithm with a maximum hash rate of 520 mega hash for a power consumption of 240 watts. Not bad. That is a very good power consumption. So this is the 1U version, and you can stack these things pretty easily, like in a server rack if you want to buy multiple of them. Uh, let's see. You got 5 gigabytes of memory. I don't know. This looks pretty decent. 
So what is the price? I This is the hard part to, to get into. Oh, I don't know any of these people. Where to buy? Where to buy? Where to buy? Coin Money Central, that is overseas. Britain, BT Miners. Uh, these miner bros are where? These are Hong Kongers. Let's go check out them. Oh, you got a pre-order. They're coming out in May. Let's go check the miner bros. Come on, big money, big money, big... Oh, 8200 bucks, baby. You got to do your uh, cost-benefit analysis on that. Shipping cost to your door is included below price. All right. I think these guys are okay, even though it is coming from <coughs> overseas. And I think you probably have to pay with crypto. Do, 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 do. Let's go to the bottom. Oh, yeah. Payment meant Bitcoin, Ethereum. Yeah. I want to see a credit card, guys. That makes me nervous. Uh, let's go check out a U.S.-based reseller. BT Miners. Another, uh, let's see. Oh, where's your price? Oh, 9300 So you got 9300 if you want to get shipped in the U.S. But, oh, they might take MasterCard Visa. That's the Delta. Okay, that's, is it worth the difference in price? So 80, 9300 USD. Let's go to Maybatch. Oh, there we go. Maybatch. 7,900, so let's just say 8K, 8K. 8,200, oh, interesting. May, yeah, you know what? This is a pro, BT Miners. Do your research on them if you trust them. They're in the States. You can pay with credit card, and it's a little bit less. I don't know, that might be something to look into. If you're looking to get into something, figure the cost if you're buying a bunch of GPUs. It's going to cost 63080 TIs, 10 to 12K, right? With all the stuff you got to get, risers, cables. Do you go out and buy one or two of these things? I would buy one to start with, right? Not financial advice, guys. I'd put your money safe wherever you can put it right now. Who knows what's going to happen with the equities market? The, the whole world's imploding. No, Nobody knows what's going to happen. So, Everything's a risk, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This is actually something to get away from GPU mining with the proof of stake of Ethereum looming over everybody. ASICs may be the way to go. I need to learn more about these and maybe start contacting these guys and, and check it out. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this, that uh, people are now talking about ETC more. I keep hearing more and more about Jazz Miners, other algorithm ASICs like uh, KD Box Pro. I don't hear. I don't know much about that algorithm. I like the fact that this is the original ETH hash uh, branch before Ethereum two branched from this one. I don't know. I need to do more research. But just throwing some ideas out there. If you have a jazz miner that you paid for or were given free, let me know. Post below. I want to know if it's beneficial. If you're making money, or is it all just another scam to take the money out of my wallet and put it in someone else's wallet to sell you a server? I don't know. Right. I'm really cautious on this stuff yet, but I'm doing my I'm doing my research right now. I'm just kind of sharing that with you. So I'm going to go through this. I'm actually going to contact BT miners and get more information on the May batch to see what version they are, what the specs are, the power, the mega hash, all that stuff, just to get it from them to make sure they know what they're getting in and make sure the payment and the terms of purchasing. Uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That's all I got. ASIC miner, ASIC miners. Is it the future? Is it the way to go? Or is CPU mining the way to go? Uh, I like CPU mining as well. GPU mining, I think are gonna, it's going to be a dead way to mine. But to actual ROI your GPUs on mining is going to be very, very difficult. All right, guys, I'm out. Go forth to great things. Let me know what you think about these ASICs.